Hello everyone, so today I wanna to talk about the high call of love. So love really is a choice. It does not come natural in the way God really calls us to love. It is a higher form of love, a love that is full of mercy, full of hope, and really flows from heaven. This love in the Greek is called agape love, and it's a God kind of love. It is the love of a mother that never gives up praying, a father that continues to encourage even when we are rebellious, and sometimes it can even be shown in our pets. They love without worry, without hurt, without loss or concern of offense. Now Jesus spoke of a love that even reached out to love your enemies. Those that hurt you, those that maybe have slandered you, still slandered from you or stolen, etc. And the list goes on. So this is not a natural love that is found in mankind. It can only come from the author of love, the Lord himself. So uh, I want to share Luke 6, 27 through 36, and it's about loving your enemies. But to you who are listening, I say, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who mistreat you. Now, if someone slaps you on one cheek, turn to them the other also. And if someone takes your coat, do not withhold your shirt from them. Give to everyone who asks you, even if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Now, if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who are good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do that. And if you lend to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? So even sinners lend, lend to sinners expecting to be repaid in full. But love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, because he is kind to even the ungrateful and the wicked. So be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. So when we show agape love toward one another, we reveal our Father in heaven. He is kind and merciful, even to those that are against him and even to those that are, are wicked and going astray. So he is long suffering in his mercy. It is this very agape love that brings people to repentance. It is this type of love that heals broken families, marriages, and even nations. So the love of God is compelling. It looks at a wrongdoer, the offender, and offers them love and kindness. This mercy and love is perfectly displayed in the cross because we, we were once enemies to God, wicked in our hearts, but his love is compelling. It shifts the hardest hearts and returns them to their maker. So when we learn to reflect God's love, it's a force that really will destroy the works of the enemy and return the hardest hearts and the nations to the Lord. So I just wanted to share that with you today. Um, God is really calling us to a higher form of love, which is agape love. It's not so much, you know, loving those that love you, but it's loving those that may disagree with you, loving those that have done something to you. And this love flows from heaven. And we ask, we actually have to ask the Lord to fill our heart with this love because it's, um, it's an unnatural love, but it flows from heaven. And we want to reflect God because when we do reflect God in our love, that's what will destroy the works of the enemy. So... God bless you. I hope this encourages you today. Amen.